Let's figure that shit out. Right, um, I'm going to show you one way you can look at big chord shapes and try and make it a bit more interesting melodically. Uh, so that one I used, it's an A minor, A minor chord shape. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and play up it in an arpeggiated way and turn it into a like a solo concept. Few things though, if I just play, that's fine. I'm literally going up one note at a time, up the, the shape. I want to add in a few notes to make it more interesting. So that's the root note. There's my minor third. So I'm going to use that note on the low E string and the high E string. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slide one fret into the root note. It's already sounding a little bit more interesting. The last thing I want to do is find the note I want to really end on. So it's kind of like I'm thinking one extra note, full chord shape, one or two, maybe three extra notes at the end, more like a scale thing maybe. So, again, chord shape, one fret below, slide in, minor third, minor third, and I love the nine. You can find it without knowing your scales, you can just play up an A minor. Bad note. So you can figure out which one you want to end on. And you've turned a chord shape into a melodic thing. You can do it with any chord shape and it's up to you to decide um, whether or not you want to use one fret below to start or two frets below to slide in. I find one fret works really well most of the time. And for the end, use your ears, find stuff. Have the root note when you're searching for the, the note you want to end on. Play an A root note behind it so you can kind of hear the relationship. Right, that's the idea. If you have a major chord, you need to find the major third. It's a good thing to memorize. This shape is a minor third, root note, minor third, major third, root note. So if I'm using this shape, I now slide half step in, major third, And depending on, once again, the end note, what do I want to do? Um, there you go, back down the arpeggio in that position. So I've gone down that shape, which is another A minor, A minor, A major. There you go, that's the idea. Slide into it, play up the chord shape, separate notes, and then do a little fiddly widdly wiggles at the end. Now, technical side of things. When you're playing the arpeggio, try and make sure you're stopping. See what I did then? I started playing this fourth string, but I hadn't released the fifth string note. What you want to try and make sure is that each note touches the next one, but doesn't bleed over the top of it. So if I'm playing, otherwise it just sounds like you're strumming a chord. So I want to make sure the coordination is there so that when I touch the next note, the last one has stopped. I don't want that. That's just strumming a chord basically. There you go, turn your chord shapes into melodic ideas. Like, subscribe, hit me up for lessons on Skype if you wanna go deeper into this or just get lessons from a teacher. All right, take it easy, see ya.